First of all, there are four steps that I go through with every drawing I make. So these steps are first, I start off with uh, the sketch. This is by a reference of the champion. So in this case, I use the splash art of Cassiopeia. Uh, then I go over the line art. Uh, then I do the coloring of the champion and then the background. So starting off with the sketch, um, in this case, I use the reference of Cassiopeia. Uh, so what I do is I make estimates of uh, where everything in this champion is going to be. And this makes it easier for me to draw her pro properly. So as you can see in this drawing, I'm just, uh, I'm not even drawing her face because I'm going to delete this later. Or the Patrick is, Pat Patrick's face is going to be uh, on top of this, so there's no point in doing that. And I'm drawing where her tail is going to be, her skills and everything like that, her jewelry and her, her hat, um, so that when I get to the real drawing or the line art later, it's easier for me to delete this and work that out uh, as how it should be. So uh, here we go to the line art itself. Um, as you can see, I have a reference of Patrick uh, next to me, so we can be sure how to draw the eyes and the face, which is obviously very easy, but it's still useful to have the eyes. Um, or to just have a reference in general, just so you know that you're working in the right direction. Uh, I can tell you from experience that every uh, professional artist prefers to work with a reference because it just makes their job easier, especially if you're working with a lot of, lot of deadlines. So now we go on to the line art. Um, one thing I can recommend is working in larger strokes. Uh, as you can see, what I'm doing right now is every line that I make is one line. And the reason for that is, is because it looks a lot more confident. Um, and yeah, these lines just help uh, portray your image a lot better. And as you can see, there are a lot of dirty lines in the sketch underneath and you don't want your lines to look like that. So that's why I just make these longer strokes. They don't have to be thicker, just longer. Uh, so now moving on, um, as you can see, I'm working on two separate layers. Uh, right now I'm working on a real layer for the line art and a detail plus uh, hat or helmet layer uh, in which I put more finer details. Um, and this is very useful because if you want to make a tra transitional uh, line, you can cut them out uh, a bit easier. Uh, at this point, uh, I'm using the magic wand tool to select the uh, white space around the uh, around Cassiopeia or around Patrick, and I inverse my selection. Uh, and this way, you, uh, I can color everything on a new layer, of course. You can see I made a color layer, and I put a uh, clipping mask on top of that. Uh, and this way, I can color everything in. Uh, I use the magic wand tool to select uh, everything. Uh, I have the selection of all layers uh, on, so this way I can click everywhere and every layer will uh, select the, the right, the, the places I want to uh, draw in. Uh, as you can see, I'm just adding detail uh, and color everywhere where I feel like the contrasts, uh, it contrasts the, the image correctly. So, um, I'm trying to use the uh, color scheme that Patrick has. So for the eyes, of course, that's self-explanatory. But for the clothing and for the snake skin, I thought it would be funny if I used the color of his uh, pants uh, with his pattern as well, of course, which is just a trademark of uh, him as a character. And I think it meshes really well. So now I'm also adding in the uh, eyebrows in the detail, uh, or I made a separate layer for this because uh, when I'm coloring the lines, as you can see here, I, I don't want to color the eyebrows in. So that's why I made a separate layer to do that. Uh, and here you can also see that because I'm working on different layers, it's easier for me to, uh, to color in what I want to color in. Now, at this part, I actually have to be careful because I'm working with the same line. So I try to do it as clean as possible and then I uh, erase some parts. Uh, here it's pretty easy, of course, because this is all uh, in, the, in the middle. 
And yeah, that was pretty much all the, the line colors. Uh, I'm trying to re fix the eyebrows a little bit um, because they didn't pop out as well as I hoped. And now I'm adding in the dots that Patrick uh, has. And we can move on to the background. So for the background, I make a separate layer, um, of course, because I can't work on the same layers, um, which is something you need to get used to and you need to do. Otherwise, it's going to get very messy. Um, the background in this case, Cassiopeia has a very difficult to draw background, which can be a little tricky. Um, but one thing I try to do is do it in about 20 minutes. Um, 20 or 30 minutes, maybe less, um, because I don't want to focus too much on the background. I'm not specialized in this, um, so I try to just get the rough details. I put a blur on it so that the uh, lines form the illusion of the correct shapes, which is what I normally do. And as you can see here, currently everything looks super janky or doesn't really fit um, with how we think the background looks. One thing I do often is, as you can see, I put uh, shading on uh, everything and I play a lot with the, the light, which I think works really well um, because we focus on the foreground image, we focus on Cassiopeia, but we don't really focus on the background. And as you can see, uh, the more it, uh, it gets a little vaguer, uh, the better everything in the foreground looks and that's what we really want to focus on and uh, there you have it that's my drawing process uh, of course I put my tag in and that's uh, the gist of it that's how I make most of my drawings sometimes I spend more time on the background sometimes I spend more time uh, on the, the sketch to get everything correctly or to the finest details but this is my average process. I hope you enjoyed and uh, learned something. I'll probably make more of these kind of videos in the future uh, if you guys enjoy them. Uh, and yeah, that's uh, that's it for me.